So, hello everyone and we have another star for today, Dr. Ravi Bansal with the amazing rank of 5 in the recent NEET PG 2024. So, welcome Dr. Ravi. Thank you so much ma'am. Heartiest congratulations for such an amazing score and amazing rank 5. How do you feel after getting a single digit rank? Uh, thank you, ma'am. Uh, it's just grateful to feel. It's just I just feel like all the hard work I did in my uh, one or two years preparation. It just paid off. Yes. So, uh, were you expecting this because need PG paper was tough this time? So, were you expecting that yeah, paper is good? You can get a single digit rank. Uh, not like this time. Like the paper is good. Paper is so unpredictable. Like hmm. after coming out of the hole, I could not say like I did the right or wrong most of the questions. You were not but sure. I had, but I had this confidence that I had uh, I had done so much hard work and hmm. I had done so many good rank in GT. So hmm. I will achieve in top 100, I guess. Like my initiative were so okay. great. I guess. You so, were hopeful about top 100, but not uh, you were not, not sure about the single digit. Right. All right. So, Ravi, uh, you had done the test series with us, the grand test, SWTs. So, what was your experience with the type of questions that you get in test series, grand test? Were they similar, giving you a good practice of the questions from the main exam? Uh, so, Igurukul, uh, GTs and SWT has uh, great questions. Like, it's just give you a spectrum of questions. Like mm -hmm. from SWT from GT, you get one liner clinical questions. Like this meet was all about clinical questions. Yes. So I already had practiced all the clinical questions from SWT and GT. So I didn't mm -hmm. face so much problem during my uh, meet exam. Right. So when you actually open your paper and you start solving the paper, uh, what was your impression like that you have done the similar kind of questions? Or uh, the images that you got in the questions, did you found them familiar that you have done them before? Uh, right, ma'am. Like uh, when I used to give e group uh, GTs uh, in the earlier, like I used to feel like this is kind of tough. Like neat paper does not come this tough. This tough, yeah. Like so many clinical questions they don't ask. Like on my previous year, uh, based mm -hmm. question, based my analysis. But mm -hmm. like when I sat in the hole and like gave the actual lead, like I felt like. <laughs> Actually, I have given them in app itself. Like it's all the clinical questions, so many like long time questions, so many images. So mm. I felt like ah, it actually paid off. <laughs> it actually eventually paid off, right? So how much important it is, Ravi, to practice the good amount of questions and clinical questions uh, in order to give such kind of examinations? Uh, so, uh, ma'am, I guess... Uh, Solving MCQs is the backbone, should be backbone of your preparation. Mm. Like PG exam is just MCQ based, not a theory based. You can read all the all the notes you have written, all the things you can, but solving MCQ without solving MCQ, you cannot get a good rank. Mm -hmm. Like if uh, if you study a one subject, still you can get those questions wrong in MCQ exam. Mm. Because then they ask the questions from a different perspective. That's when the role of few bank your GTs and SWT comes in. Mm -hmm. like, uh, SWT, GT while solving these questions, you feel like, a good subject I have studied, but it's this type of question which can be asked. Like this type of images can also. So like, solving MCP is a uh, must for every new PG. Right. So what is the right time of uh, giving the GTs? That is the, you know, million dollar question. When should we start giving the GTs? Uh, there is no right time. You should just start giving GTs now. Like you right. should not so, wait for and... all that uh, syllabus to complete. It won't. Mera syllabus is never complete. Just when you have done two or three subjects or four subjects, you just start giving GTs. Okay. And uh, how, how much time we should uh, be giving in between the GTs? How frequently you used to give the grand test? I used to give GT uh, okay. first, uh, in the starting of my internship. I used to give GT in uh, one in two or three weeks. But like uh, when I uh, covered most of my syllabus, I used to give GT in uh, one in uh, seven or ten days. Hmm. Okay. So frequent GT is a much thing for me to do. So, did you maintain the, this spacing or did you increase or decrease the number of days between the grand test towards the end? Uh, 
towards the end i gave more gps like i could not study from my notes i uh, became bored of my notes actually saturated and, uh, <laughs> i was saturated with same kind of pages the pages kind of look yellowish <laughs> so i thought i could give gt more so i gave gt i guess uh, in the last two or three days me for to de diya tha gt one gt person was reading so like gt is obviously it gives you review of whole 19 subject it uh, covers all the spectrum of the subject and swt also helps in like it totally covers your subject from zero to the end mm mm-hmm. so how you used to uh, review the grand test after giving them uh, so i first of all i used to review the wrong questions i have done in the gt or any mm-hmm. test for the matter i used to uh, uh-huh. totally read all the explanation given in the uh, answer and mm-hmm. if there was a new concept a new question or even the fact the uh, fact i have read but i have done wrong i used to write in my separate notebook mm then i used to go over the section of which the question i have done correct and i didn't spend much time in reviewing them because i knew i had done uh, correct uh, i have i know them i know that questions so i didn't uh, waste much of the time in uh, reviewing those questions so did you uh, maintain the 20th notebook uh, uh, yes ma'am so how much important it is to make the 20th notebook uh it's it's so much important i'm like uh, i koi bhi mere se bhi puchta hai about the preparation strategy and revision i just say you have to revise all the 19 subjects in last 12 or 13 days yes and last 20 and 30 days you cannot revise your main notes they are so bulky so yes. that's the rule of 20th notebook come in 20th notebook just consists of your uh, volatile stuff all the facts all the things you tend to do wrong in your gts or in swts So revising that twenty-eight notebook is uh, humanly possible in last two, uh, twelve or thirteen days. Yes. So and NEET PG and this PG entrance exam is just so fact-based. So many questions are fact-based. So you have to revise them in last ten days. So the role of twenty-eight notebook is utmost. You cannot ignore it. And how did you cope up with the stress of low scores when you gave so many GTs? I know every GT is not the same, so you must have got the low scores also in some of the GTs. Uh, right, ma'am. Uh, like I didn't uh, get so much low scores in any of GT. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> But uh, like obviously, uh, some of GTs were bad. So like I stagnant uh, uh, stagnant scores is also a stress yeah, sometimes. Yeah. <laughs> that thing I suffered with, like uh, my score just stagnant with one uh, fifty at one time, like around the September. I mm. couldn't get get my correct questions above one fifty. So like uh, that time I uh, I was worried, but I took that in a positive way. Like mm-hmm. I did my subject wise analysis of the OGT, like which subject I am uh, lagging behind. Hmm. What are the things like for me? It was English based questions more, more. Like I tend to do hmm. wrong questions on IBQ, so I more hmm. focused on my images. Hmm. All right. So how many times did you revise before your uh, final exam? Uh, I guess when it was uh, six to seven revisions. Six to seven. <laughs> wow. How did you manage this? Like. Uh, Uh, as you said that every reading everything 19 of all the 19 subjects is not humanly possible so how did you do it then uh, ma'am i made a uh, concise note from my starting of my preparation mm-hmm. like i didn't read much of the stuff i just used to write the important stuff which are asked so which you tend to forget with time mm-hmm. so like uh, making concise uh-huh. notes was so game changing for me like i used to revise two subjects in like half a day So this make my revision two fast. Two subjects in just half of the day. Right now, like in the last, uh, I was able to revise E N T O top yes in just one or one last day. All right. So means uh, consolidating the notes and uh, filtering the content right. is the key, right? right? Okay. So any other valuable piece of advice that you actually learned from your journey? that you would like to give us a message for others yeah. so i would just like to say uh, revision is the important key for success in pg entrance examination like mm-hmm. uh, pg entrance is much more fact based i feel like it is much more fact based you have to remember the stuff you cannot uh, you cannot expect 
that the gene you read one year ago, you it will come to your mind in one year later in your exam. So you just yeah. have to revise. Hmm. So for the revision, concise notes are very important. Hmm. You uh, may not make them separate notebook. You just highlight in your main notes only with the highlighter. So many stuff are there. Hmm. And giving question practice are uh, much more important than revising your notes. Like if you don't know uh, which type of questions are coming in your PG entrance examination, you cannot score a good uh, rank in your exam. And obviously, previous year topics are like they give you ideas, like you what exam is thing from where they could make the questions. And right. So, one, so, one advice, uh, uh, yes, ma'am. Like, yes. Uh, yes. Flashcards you can also okay. use. Like, uh, I use flashcards in my internship. They are so mm -hmm. good. Like they are available in, in the app itself. Yes. Like you can uh, repeat, uh, you can do the repeated vision of the subjects, like short subjects. Like you can do the yeah. whole flash cards in one day. It keeps the fresh, uh, subjects fresh in your mind. Yes, and visual memory is always, you know, long lasting. Right. Now. Right. So how many questions you used to do in one day for practice? Uh, it was not fixed actually, but sometimes it was like 200 to 300 questions one day. So sometimes it was just 50 questions a day. But I did questions most of the days. There was not a single day I didn't do this question practice. Right. So guys, doing questions is the backbone. We have got this message thoroughly from him. Doing the GTs, starting as early as possible. There is no perfect time to start the grand test. Consolidating your notes, revising them ample number of times. And doing so many questions each day. Right, Ravi, are the important key messages that he has given to us. And I am sure that you will get a lot of energy and motivation from a great motivating story of amazing score of single digit 05. So heartiest, heartiest congratulations from whole of the team DBMCI. We are really, really proud of you. And uh, we wish you all the very best for your future endeavors too. Thank you so much. Thank God you bless you. Me.